Hey guys, I'm on my way to Miami and check out a couple of pieces that I have my eye on. I'm actually also gonna meet up with Dalton, which is awesome. We're gonna have dinner, hang out. It's gonna be super exciting and uh, we'll be taking a look at some of those. <laughs> Sweet home. I am hanging out with Dalton. We're nice. having dinner and we're gonna do some shout outs. Hey, Purple Haze, just wanted to say, wish you were here. I'm wearing my GMT for you. Let's get a close up. Let's get a close up. Oh, so pretty. I wanted to say thanks to watching your video. My wife actually suggested that I get a Daytona. So, you're my best friend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and we do wish you were here, okay? No All one's right. subscribing. Right. It's not nice. <laughs> we wish you were here, brother. <laughs> this is just how I naturally see it. I'm not trying to show my Seiko Sumo, no. This is just how I naturally see it. <laughs> Shout out to Jeffrey McMahon. Sumo, 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 dude. <laughs> and Jeffrey, the struggle is real, brother. The struggle is real. <laughs> this is how I naturally see it. A lot of wrist presses. <laughs> Shout out to TGV. Uh, wrist watch check. Long jeans, that's right. Very nice. This is pure class. <laughs> pure class. <laughs> pure class. Pure sure. class. Who else we got left? Stuart Lomas? Nah. I only watched Stuart Lomas' video for the weather report. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Stuart. We do, man. Hope you're doing well. So I think that's pretty much it for our dinner. It was awesome. Bye, guys. <laughs> So when we walked into Bastion Constantine, we were greeted by Caroline Jerome Egger, who was absolutely fantastic. First piece I tried on was actually just recently featured on Hudinki, the Harmony Single Pusher Chronograph, the 260th Anniversary Edition. The first one I tried on is actually limited to 260 pieces. It's 18 karat pink gold, very nice cushion case, 42 millimeters. The piece was absolutely beautiful. It's, I believe it's $64,000. The movement got 252 components, 35 jewels, and it wears very, very comfortably. I was actually uh, kind of surprised how much I liked it. Also part of the 260th anniversary line, the Harmony Dual Time. This is an 18 karat white gold piece, 40 millimeters. Unlike the Harmony Single Pusher Chronograph, which is a manual wind chronograph movement, the Harmony Dual Time is uh, an automatic piece with a gold rotor, very, very nicely decorated, uh, 18 karat white gold. It has the caliber 2460DT, uh, 40 hour power reserve, 27 joules, 233 components, and I absolutely loved this piece. They actually had the watchmaker come out that is working there at the Vacheron Constantine Boutique uh, come out and meet me, which was incredible. His name was Judd Wood. He was a very, very nice guy. We talked uh, movements. He actually is a, a Squale fan, so we talked Squale. We talked uh, Seiko and some of the Grand Seikos. And he actually mentioned that he really does like the spring drive movement. Second, of course, to Vacheron Constantine. We were getting ready to leave. Caroline Jerome Egger actually gave me a Vacheron Constantine jeweler's loop uh, to keep as you know, just a memory of the visit to the, to the boutique. Uh, which I thought was incredible. Now at the Omega Boutique, we were actually greeted by an assistant manager, Yashira Rivera, and she was fantastic. I think this is the boutique I spent the most time at. The first piece that I tried on was none other than the gray side of the moon. And I was actually really, really happy to see that um, I was worried about the size, and it is pretty big, but it does wear smaller uh, than you would think it does. And although I like the gray side more than the dark side of the moon, I figured, hey, I'm at the boutique. So I did also try on the dark side of the moon, uh, which is just as gorgeous, but the gray side still holds an edge for me because the tachometer part of, of the piece in the ceramic is loomed and that portion on the dark side of the moon is not loomed. 
So it's kind of the tiebreaker, and then of course there, there's a platinum dial. I did also try on the Seamaster Professional 300 uh, chronographs, because those are pieces that, that I have been considering, and they were fantastic. I tried on the blue one in addition to the black one, and I, I love them both. I tried on the automatic movement uh, Speedy, which was a little bit smaller, so I think it fit a little bit better. Uh, they had that one on the leather band and it wore beautifully. And then I tried on your classic Speedmaster with the uh, manual movement, with the manual wind movement, and that one was was also very nice. It was on the bracelet. Really fun time there. I, we had champagne. Uh, the the service was fantastic. We weren't rushed. The next stop was none other than Rolex. Uh, we were greeted by Sandy Chatel. Very, very nice Frenchman. The first two that I looked at there was none other than the Batman GMT2 and the Yachtmaster, of course. Uh, the Yachtmaster was uh, was very nice. I was um, a little bit disappointed with it. I mean, I still absolutely love it, but it, it I don't think I got kind of the awe that I was hoping uh, when I tried it on. I tried on the classic GMT2 uh, all black bezel which was very nice. I thought it fit very nicely. Uh, the Batman still holds an edge over that one. But the piece that I was completely blown away by from the line was the brand new Rolex Yachtmaster that was featured at um, this year's Baselworld. It was wear small, but uh, despite being on a rubber band, and the rubber band does have like a very slim kind of metal sheet insert in it to help uh, keep the shape and the integrity and the comfort. It was a fantastic piece, and the experience at the boutique was also incredible. Sandy Chatel was absolutely fantastic. The Jeje Le Coltre Boutique. This was actually the second one that I went to, but I put it last in the video because this is the piece that really absolutely blew me away. Reverso Squadra Chronograph. And I, you know, this is one that I wanted to try on. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because I'm not really a huge fan of the, just the general shape aesthetically of this piece. I worked with uh, Christina from the JLC Boutique and she actually brought the piece in from uh, across the country for me to try on. And it was absolutely fantastic. Of everything that I tried on, of everything that I've been considering, this was by far my favorite. I can't even explain what it is about it. I mean, yeah, it, it's just an incredible piece. It's, it's absolutely classic. The caliber of the movement that's in the piece. It has a JLC 754 chronograph movement. Uh, it's got 296 pieces in it. It's absolutely beautiful. You have the grand date at the top, and you guys know by now that I absolutely love having the date on the piece. Uh, 39 joule movement. It does have a 65 hour power reserve, which was is pretty awesome. And I actually really, really love the strap that this one comes on. I can't even explain the kind of bizarre affinity. Like this was a almost, you know, skies parting religious experience trying this one on and I have not been able to stop thinking about it. Um, so dare I say that, you know, this is one that I, I feel like I'm definitely going to have to get. Now this one is a limited run of 25 pieces and it is the only one left at a JLC boutique. The squadron line's actually been discontinued. Um, I don't know if they'll do a reissue of it later or not, but um, and you see it has a steel case and it kind of has uh, the rubber inserts along the side of it which gives it, you know, a sportier, more substantial uh, appearance, you know, not something that you have to be incredibly fragile with, which is what I don't really like about the dress reversals. So, while this one really appeals to me, it has that sport kind of substantial feel to it where I don't feel like it's going to be something that's overly fragile. Of everything that I saw, this one is still uh, my, my absolute favorite. So we are enjoying lunch now at Michael's. We just got done going to the Omega Boutique, the JLC Boutique, we went to the Rolex Boutique. Um, we also went to the Vetron Constantine Boutique, which was incredible. Um, I'm here with my dad. Say hi to everybody. Hello everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> like a father-daughter day. Um, I have not bought anything yet. Although the JLC Reverso was, was the most tempting. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at everything that I tried on. Alright, um, so let me know what you think in the comment section below and which one is your favorite. Alright.